hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel today we are going to solve day 16 problem on lead code i hope that you guys are solving one question daily on this platform and if you guys haven't subscribed my youtube channel yet then please go ahead and subscribe it to watch uh, daily problem solutions okay so now without any delay let's get started with today's problem so in this problem we have to find the least number of unique integers after k removals okay so we have given an array of integers and an integer k and we have to find the least number of unique integers after removing exactly k elements okay so here uh, in this example one this is an array given to us and k is one okay so if we remove a single four in it then only five is left okay so we have to just return the least number of unique integers so 5 is unique now so if we remove just this 4 then uh, only 5 is left okay uh, it doesn't matter the frequency how many time it is there but it is a unique element right so we have to just return 1 what happens if we remove 5 here so let's say I have removed this 5 here so in that case there are total two uh, elements 5 and 4 so output is going to be 2 in that case but we have to just return the least number of unique integers after k removals okay so now uh, how we are going to solve this problem so let's understand the logic uh, to solve this problem with uh, an example so let me copy this example okay so let's say uh, this is the example okay so first uh, what i'm going to do so first uh, i'm going to get the count of each element in my array so this is the array given to us okay so here uh, how many time 4 appears in my array so this is a key okay and here I am going to write the values okay so 4 is appearing one time right how many times uh, 3 is appearing in my uh, array so 3 is appearing 1 2 3 times okay how many time 1 is appearing in my array so 1 is appearing total two times one and two two times okay and how many times uh, two is appearing in my array so two is appearing just one time okay so these are the values these are the frequencies of each element okay how many times they are appearing so after uh, getting these frequencies what I am going to do I am going to just uh, sort uh, the values so first uh, let's say what is the size of these values what is the total size so total size these are four values okay one two three four total four values that I am getting here okay so let me store the size so size is four so four are the what four are the total size okay four is the total size or unique indexes okay so four is the size and now I am going to sort based on the values so after sorting how it is going to look like one this one then this one then this two then this three okay so uh, this four is unique integers now so I can write it like unique integers unique integers or size okay unique integers because uh, this one is representing this 4 this 3 is representing this 3 this 2 is representing 1 and this one is representing 2 okay so in total these are the unique na? these are unique values okay so here we have counted the their frequencies how many times are there so okay so these 4 is the size size of these values okay or unique integers so initially uh, my unique integer is 4 and I have sorted it based on the values so first come this one then this one then this two then this three okay so once I have sorted this after that I am going to check for k so if my k is greater than this value k is greater than this value 1 yes it is greater than this one if this is greater than 1 then I have to delete it and I have to decrement the count of k with this count what is the count here 1 na? so now k minus 
वन बिकम्स टू ओके के इज थ्री सो नाउ के बिकम्स टू सो टू इज ग्रेटर देन दिस वन यस इट इज ट्रू सो इफ टू इज ग्रेटर देन माई वन then in that case i have to delete this element uh, this value and now my k becomes 1 k becomes 1 okay now when my k becomes 1 here so here uh, see k is greater than uh, this two no it is not true so let's say i have removed one element here so now it becomes one it it is uh, we are left with just one here okay and one here so one element is there and one element is in here okay so this means that now my unique integers are two okay why two because here we are we are just going to remove one element because k is one okay if we remove one then still uh, we are left with one okay so here this is one unique integer and this is one unique integer so we have to just return two as output okay so here we have removing this one simply means we are removing the four okay removing this one simply means that we are removing this two here k we are left with k as one so uh, here it is given as two two frequency so here it simply means that i am removing just one one value here so one appears two times initially now it appears just one time okay so we have removed this four we have removed this two and this one is appearing one time and 3 is appearing 3 times okay but how many unique integers are there only two na so we have to just return the true return the two okay so now uh, let's write the code for this problem so you will get a more clear picture when uh, i am going to write the code okay so now uh, see carefully first i am going to create one map and in this map i am going to pass key and values so keys of integer type right and values that is count of frequencies it, are, it is also of integer type okay so here i am creating one hash map and now inside that after that i am going to uh, run one for each loop and this for each loop is going over each element in my array okay and then i am going to use this method map dot put it is going to search for a particular key that is our num then it is going to check whether uh, this key is present or not in our array yet this key if it is present it is going to take the initial values uh, whatever the values are available otherwise it is going to give the default value as zero and we are going to just increment it by one if we found that key okay so it is going to search for a particular uh, key if it is already there then after that it is going to add one if it is not there so it means that it is zero plus one okay so here uh, i get the frequencies of each element then after that i am going to convert uh, this map into the list so i am going to create one list of integer frequencies okay list of integer and here frequencies list of integer frequencies and here i am creating one array list new array list and in this array list what i am passing i am passing the frequency okay the frequency that we get that is uh, this map dot values so what are the values that we are getting from this map so i have passed these values in a list okay so once i pass the values then after that i have to sort uh, it based on the their values so here you see uh, this is the key these are values so here Uh, I am sorting na one one two three. So to sort this, I am going to use collections dot sort, and here I am going to pass the frequencies that I am sorting. Okay. So now uh, I have sorted. After that, uh, unique integers. So unique integers. Okay. So here I have told you that uh, 
this 4 is a size then that 4 simply means the unique integers because we don't uh, care about how many times they are appearing we just need to get the unique integers so these are the unique integers now 4 3 1 2 these are all the unique integers okay so what is the total size total size is 4 okay so 4 is the unique integers so here can i write it like this into unique integers is equal to our map dot map dot size so whatever is the size of our map that is going to be our uh, unique integers okay so map size is 4 here okay so that is why uh, we are getting four values now four, four keys and four values that is the reason we are getting four keys and four values okay so map dot size is four unique integers now after that we have to check whether we can uh, we have to re we can remove the total three okay so first we are going to remove this one okay here we have removed it then this one then after that only we are left with the k as one so we are we have to just remove let's say we have removed this one so it was two value now we have removed just one value so still uh, we are left with one value okay so three appears three times and one which was appearing two times now it is appearing for just one time okay but here we have to just return this now so total size is two so here i am going to write one again of one for each loop four int and now again i am going to go over the frequencies okay so one by one i am going to iterate over the frequencies and inside that i am going to check if my k is greater than equal to frequency okay if k is greater than equal to frequency then in that case i have to just decrement k by k minus frequency right and unique integers also should be decremented okay so unique integers minus minus okay so here uh, in the else part if this condition is not satisfied i have to just uh, break this loop okay and in the end i have to just return the unique integers okay now let me run the code okay if k is greater than equal to frequency okay and list of integer k is k minus frequency bad binary data is binary operand okay so, let's go there if k is greater than equal to frequency int frequency now here k is greater than this f okay then in that case k is k minus this one So all the test cases has been accepted. Okay, so our solution is accepted and I hope that you guys are able to understand today's problem. If you guys still have any doubts, then please feel free to ask in comment section. Till then, keep coding and keep practicing. Thank you. Bye bye. Meet you in the next video.